start at um, at verse 3 and he says dear friends although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints for certain men who condemnation was written about long ago has secretly slept in slipped in among you they are godless men who changed the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ our sovereign our only sovereign and Lord and how true is that this is why it's so this is why it's so important for us to continue in what we have learned, continue in the Word of God and become convinced of it. And even here, it is admonishing us again to contend for the faith that was once and for all entrusted to the saints. We have to stand up on the Word of God. We have to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, not the gospel of our denominations, not the gospel of our feelings, not the gospel of our traditions, not the gospel where I was brought up this way and I didn't, not the, but the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what we have to preach, okay? And going on here now um, we're going to look at uh, for the sake of time um, you can read all of Jude uh, but we're going to look at uh, starting at verse uh, let's look at starting at verse 17 okay but dear friends remember here he goes again he admonishing us admonishing us here's the writer again admonishing us to remember and I love the the, the the way that the old saints used to do it our spiritual ancestors used to do it from generation to generation they would remind that new generation what happened previously God called us out of Egypt he brought us he rose the waters up he allowed us to go through on dry land but our enemies he had the waters to come down and he crushed them and not only that but as we were walking through a dark wilderness he had a, a cloud of dark following us a cloud following us and and fire following us okay he showed us the way he showed us how to walk and then when we got hungry he fed us with manna from on high okay and then when we was thirsty he gave us water out of a rock okay and then when this happened he did this and then when that happened he did this and guess what we walked around this wilderness for 40 days not a beast came out on us our shoes did not break down our clothes did not wither we were still strong we were still able to go through look at what the Lord has done so that you don't forget what happened I love the fact that they reminded that next generation and that generation reminded the next generation and that generation reminded the next generation okay but then you can see um, places where the, the, the they, they, they stopped doing that and then that generation forgot about what happened before or did not or did not want to acknowledge what happened before or adhere to what happened before and we can see what came about in that generation and that's why it's so important for us to to remember to remember and to become continuing what we've learned and to become convinced of what we have learned because once you are convinced of something it's a wrap it's a done deal there's nothing that can come at you you're not going to and fro and sway with every doctrine and when you hear foolishness on TV when you hear crazy stuff that's on business, you can call it out and you can contend for the faith that was given to us okay when he says here but dear friends remember what the apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold they said to you in the last times there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires these are the men who divide you these are the men who divide you who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit and do not have the spirit but you 
dear friends. Build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. And he's telling us here that we have to continue to do something, building our most, building ourselves up in our most holy faith. We have to prepare for, for winter in the summer, okay? Uh, I heard the, the old folks used to say that you need to prepare beforehand. You got to build yourself up because the enemy is not playing. He, we can sit around and act like, and act like uh, uh, oh no, he's nothing. Oh, this is all right. I can do this here. I can stay right where I am. I can let my mind go here. I can let my emotions go here. We can do that if we want to. But there are going to be consequences. And we're inviting the enemy in. We're inviting, oh, go ahead, have your way. No, but if we're built up on the, if we building ourselves up daily in the word, in our prayer life, in fellowship with each other, in fellowship with the Lord, if we're praying and seeking his face, so we will be built up in our most holy faith faith. And then he says in verse 21, keep yourselves. Keep yourselves. Uh, it's a crazy thing that I see that uh, uh, that that it looked that it, 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 it seems that we don't have to do nothing and the Lord will do everything and we don't have to pray and we don't have to get in our word and we don't have to do this and we don't have to do that. And that's not biblical. All these passages here in the Bible talks about the action on our part. And here it is again. Verse 21, keep yourselves in God's love. That's mean there's work to do. You have to put in the effort to also to keep yourselves in God's love, okay? You have to to stay within the boundaries also and it says as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus to bring you to eternal life be merciful to those who doubt snatch others from the fire and save them to others show mercy mixed with fear hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh now here is this last part here is this last part, and on this part, I don't need an organ. I don't need a drummer. I don't need a tambourine. I don't need the praise team. I don't need to sing. I don't need the singers. I can shout right here by myself. It says, to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and without great joy, to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. That's how we're able to, to, to make it. That's how we're able to continue on in, 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 in building ourselves up in our most holy faith and to continue on in what we've learned and to continue on being convinced of what we have learned because the Lord has us and He is able to keep us from falling even when we feel uh, down, even when we are sick, even when this body does go down a little bit and we do go through this stuff and we do um, go through persecutions and we do go through a whole bunch of stuff and that's just reality that's this life that's this world that we live in we when we go through stuff and we might feel that lord i'm not gonna make it lord i don't think i continue on living for you lord this is kind of hard this temptation right here is something else but here we have a promise here now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Woo! That just excites me right there. That he is able to keep us from falling. When my mind, when I feel like my mind is getting ready to, to play me. And it feels like my mind is getting ready to go in a direction where it don't need to go. Now unto him who is able to keep me from falling. When it feels like I got all this stuff around me and I want to go here. My flesh is saying go here. But the spirit, the Lord is saying do this. Now unto him who is able to keep me from falling. When I, when I come out of some stuff. And now it feels like I'm tug, uh, it's a tug there and the enemy wants me to go back into what I've come out of. Now unto him who is able to keep me from falling. Oh, the ground that we stand on is sure. The rock that we stand on is sure. Because Jesus Christ is that rock that we stand on. And But we, as the Bible teaches, we have to do our part. And so today I encourage you and I provoke you and I challenge you to get back to the Word of God. Get back to the Word of God. Learn the Word of God. 
Study, continue in the word of God. And most of all, become convinced that Jesus is Lord. Become convinced that the word of God is the word of God. As 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 tells us that all scripture is God-breathed. We don't need to add anything to the gospel. The gospel is effective all by itself. We, all we have to do is preach the gospel. The gospel is effective all by itself. And when we get into our word, when we build ourselves up in our most holy faith, we will find that our that our that our, our foundation is sure. And we don't have to keep on slipping and doing this and well, today I'm saved, tomorrow I'm not saved. Today I'm saved, tomorrow I'm not saved. Today no, we can begin to stabilize because now unto him who is able to keep you. But here's the key, you have to want to be kept. I have to want to be kept. Do you want to be kept today? I don't know about you, but I want to continue to be kept today for the glory of the Lord. And so I just encourage you today, and I provoke you today, and I challenge you today to get back to the scriptures. To get back to wanting and desiring the pure, unadulterated word of God.